Okay, so that was, um, what was that? Um, life in Transit. So, I figure I will, for every song, um, I'll give you a kind of a rundown of what the song is about a bit. Um, well, well, actually, just a couple of takes. Like, I tried it a couple of times, screwed up once or twice, and then, boom, kind of got in the zone. So that was pretty awesome. Um, let me settle down here. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, I wrote that song, Life in Transit, when I was... Between jobs, I had just been laid off from St. John's, and I was in Toronto um, on tour with Sit Down Tracy doing videos, and I was at my friend Michael Michel's place in Toronto, and I kind of spent the day there. Just wanted to, this was midway through the tour, I needed a day off away from everybody, so I just spent the day in his apartment, just kind of noodling around sleeping a lot because you don't sleep on tour um, it was great um, but yeah I had his classical guitar and I was kind of playing and I got these chords that came out because you know it's a classical kind of well it's not classical but it's as classical as I will ever get and um, yeah you know like life in transit is basically like uh, my life at that point was totally just all over the place. You know, a week after I got back from that tour, I took off on another week and a half uh, road trip to Vancouver. So in like three weeks, I had gone from one side of the country to the other, you know. So, and I didn't know what, what I was going to do next, but I was so happy about it, you know. And I just, it was exciting. Um... And that's kind of what this song is about, you know, when you look at the words, I take my time with honesty, why should I try to change the world I'm in, you know? Like right now, like at that point, it was like, you know, if I'm honest to myself, I'm happy and enjoying myself, not knowing what's going on, so why change things at that moment? Because I know a lot of people, you know, were like, Rod, you need to get a plan. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I kind of thought that way too sometimes. But then I was like, no, I don't need a plan. Things work out. If I'm truthful and honest to myself, things generally work out. If you're honest to yourself, seriously, this has worked for me. I'm 33 years old and it's worked 100% up till now. The times where I was truthful to myself and honest with myself, I did the right thing. I went through the right path, I never hurt anybody, never did anything like bad, and just good for me because I was honest, what do I truly need? Me, fundamentally, what do I need? And this song is pretty much about that, you know, like, um, and it was kind of like, you know, just what I just said, you know, the chorus goes into, uh, I wait here for it, like, it's my life in transit, because... <laughs> I just, you know, if you are honest with yourself and trust your instinct, instincts and trust the world around you, really, you know, and be in transit, be ready to, to see, like, little signs from the universe that tell you, hey, that sounds cool. Maybe I should do this right now. If you follow those little things and be truthful to yourself, go like, am I doing this because it's cool? You know, because the world thinks it's cool? Or am I doing this because I personally, I think that's awesome. If you choose on the, I think it's awesome, and forget about the whole world and the whole bullshit of, oh, well, to be cool, you need to dress this way, you need to do these things, oh, by 25, you need to be married, have 2.5 kids, and blah, 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 that's bullshit. Truthful to yourself, you know, and if you, you know, like some people say, like, oh, yeah, but if you sit around waiting and nothing will happen, true, 
But if you read the signs, you're, you're just sitting and waiting for the signs. And, and the signs come along all the time. And then the, when they happen, that's when you have to do things. You know, that's when you have to, like, grab life by the balls, you know, and blah, blah, blah. It's great. I, I can't complain. I've been living my life very well, uh, I might add, and very happy. And that's that's why I'm here. I'm at Masqua right now. Masqua. Like, recording. Mics. Uh, because this is what I felt like doing. There was something deep inside that was going, Ah, oh, you need to record these songs, Roger. You need to do this. You need to do this. And I listened. And I'm happy. You know, I didn't go like, Oh, no, there's no time for that. Oh, no, I can't do this. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. People say can't way too much, man. Like, yes, there's things you can't do. But being happy, I'm sorry, you can. That's it. And this song kind of sounds very sad. But it's not, you know. Like, And at the end, you know, um, it, it pretty much says it all at the end, you know. Like that if, if I don't do this, then my life is forfeit. If I don't follow me truthfully to my happiness my life is forfeit if you're not living your life to try to be happy and truthful to yourself your life is forfeit you've lost the game you have given the power to the world you have no power anymore that's not a way I want to live and never will so that's kind of what the song was about yeah kind of nice revisiting the songs and figuring out more like what was going through my mind at the time you know and it's kind of neat because I have songs that I have no idea when I write them I have no idea why I wrote it this I didn't know until you know a month later when I revisited the song and went huh I was in this headspace I was thinking about this this is what happens I pretty much let my mind just write songs I don't really think about it too much I think if you think about it too much, you're not doing it right. Um, but anyway. So yeah, that's Life in Transit. I hope you guys liked it. It's a lot of fun recording it. Um, recording is always awkward. And it's not as comfortable as I, you know, my whole idea of, you know, recording in comfortable places. Recording's not comfortable because you're redoing a song redoing a song redoing a song I was just lucky there that I only did it twice and was able to or like the third time and was able to do it no problem but then I tried another song after and it did not work that way so <laughs> you try to recreate comfort anyway but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and yeah see you guys next time it shouldn't hurt, we'll take it personal. You need to subscribe to the Arsenal, Rogers Arsenal Channel, Rogers Arsenal Channel.